fashion. Style Tags Halls Tutorials Reviews Dripping with pearls and tangled in lace, I am Sweet 89 Surrender. Um, I'd like to, today, unmask my vanity. I've had a lot of people ask for a vanity tour, so um, I thought, you know what, why not? I mean, that's something I've been wanting to do. I've seen quite a few beauty gurus do it. And uh, I love watching those kind of videos myself. Um, I have a little bit of a different style than a lot of people. For those of you who've been following me for quite some time, you know that I'm really into the whole, you know, vintage feel and um, just light girly things, stuff like that. So um, I'm just really excited to be able to share this with you, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this vanity first. Before my husband and I got married, him and I were talking, and it was like a like a week or two before we got married, and he's like, you know what, it'd be really cool as if you had your own vanity. And I spoke up, I'm like, really? I've always wanted one since I was a really little girl. So we went over to the antique store here locally, and they actually had several vanities there, and this was the one that seemed to have the mo most storage as far as drawers go and I'm nuts about drawers places to put things and it had a huge mirror which um, I'm not gonna go into why we wanted that <laughs> but um I it thought it would also brighten the room and whatever place we may be at it does it makes the room feel a little bit bigger and I've been nuts about it it was so sweet of him to pick it up for me and I've treasured it always. In fact, when I was with my parents and we didn't have a place of our own, I missed it while it sat in storage. And I love it. I've carried it with me about wherever I've been since then, with the exception to my parents. And I'm just nuts about my vanity. I've always wanted one. And uh, I got one. And it, it, honestly, it does look vintage. I'm not sure what... Uh, around what year it's from but my mother from what she told me her mother had one very similar to it the large round mirror so um, I'm thinking maybe 40s or 50s I could be wrong but um, yeah it, it's been such a pleasure using okay I'm gonna try to do this without um, recording into the mirror because like behind me our room is like a rag we don't exactly have money for clean laundry right now, so there it sits. So, At any rate, um, I guess I'll show over here. This is where I keep my perfumes on the right-hand side. Body mists in the back. And about half of my perfumes are knockoffs. Another half are either from Avon or there's some that I have found on sale. And I'm not going to delve too much into that, but... If you want me to do a perfume collection video, I can do that. I've, I've gotten rid of a couple, and I've gotten some new ones. So if you want an updated one, I can do that. Moving on. You know what? Let's start off with the drawers on this side, since we're over here. Okay, top drawer. This is where I keep my nail polishes. And I actually had a... I got this at a garage sale with a perfume... Uh, or actually a body mist rather, this one in fact, from Victoria's Secret. It's beachy coconut and sugar cane. I found this at a garage sale. I, it looked like it had, hadn't even been used. came with a body lotion and a body wash. And I actually use it now to hold all my nail stuff. And if I get more nail polishes, I might have to upgrade to something else. But this is what I have right now. This is my manicure set from 31 my dazzle dry, got all my nail polishes, buffers, 
and press nails and I should be getting a couple more of these in the mail from Influencer. Um, yeah, just still a bunch of nail polishes. Most of my polishes, ironically, are pink. Different shades of pink. That exactly wasn't planned. <laughs> well, congratulations, you finally got to see a Beth moment. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to clean that up later. Okay, this, if I manage not to dump anything else out, this is actually where I keep all my eye candy couture jewelry. And if you want me to do a collective haul later on, I can do that. I'm just dropping everything. I keep my bracelets in here, necklaces in here, earrings in here, and there's a big chunky bracelet in there. And then I've got my nail polish removers. And then back there I have all my wristlets, wallets, coin purses, makeup brush, travel cases. And did I say coin purses? Right there. That's where I keep them all at. Right below. I have all my perfume bottle boxes. I think there's only a couple of them I don't actually have a box to, but I've, I've kept about all of them. And then I have a 88 Pilot box here. But I don't know, I just I like holding onto the boxes that way. If I like them or something and I'm done with them, I could just put them in the box and set them aside for what ones I like. I don't know. I just keep them. Alright, next. Okay. This is where I keep my Eye Candy Couture makeup. I have 21 samples so far, and I've got a lot more goodies coming in the mail. And um, I'm not going to go in too much into my makeup and my vanity. I'm going to do another video for a makeup collection. And once I have it done, I'll, I'll put a link to the, from this video to it. So that way, if people come to this video first, they know where to go. And then I've got my glasses here, and then I've got my face brushes, and then more brushes. And I actually did a tutorial on this brush holder. And this is where my equal to brushes keep them here. Okay, I'm just going to give you a review. This is, I call it the makeup tower. <laughs> Alright, next drawer. Got cotton balls. Remove nail polish. All right, in here is the, this side of the um, vanity is where I usually keep my hair products. So the only hair tools I really have is a paddle brush, a teasing brush, and a comb. And then I've got a curling iron, which I'm not too crazy about. I think by Conair. And then I've got my Remington Wet to Straight, which I love. And then I've got hairspray right there. Um, I've got leave-in hair conditioner, um, curling stuff, and I got um, heat protectants. And I've got deodorant back there. It's just for my convenience, even though it has nothing to do with all this in here. And I've got a Frizz Ease hair serum from John Frieda. And this, I love. I use this a lot. I, it made my February favorites. Talked a lot about that, but I, th I attribute to my long hair to this. I really do. And this, I made. I keep my um, hair ties on this. I've got a lot more of these floating around somewhere. I've got to put them on here, but... Um, it's actually pretty heavy, as you can see. But I filled it up with rocks, and I just slip my hair ties over it when I'm in a hurry. I keep my bobby pins in this and this is basically a, a pill bottle that Walmart sells. They sell empty, you know, containers for traveling and stuff and this is for pills and I keep my bobby pins in it. In the back there I've got Claren products that I gotta try out for review and a body wash I need to try. I haven't used any of that yet. Okay. This is like my favorite drawer. Or one of them anyways. I have all my hair stuff in here. 
Got my hair flowers. I just, I love hair flowers. I love hair accessories. It's cute. It says love, hope, fun, friend, laugh. Just a whole bunch of kind of family kind of stuff. This is a popular one. I've worn this a lot of my videos and I've gotten a lot of good comments on it. There's a heart in the center of that. It's a rhinestone heart. A fake one. There's that. These are interesting. This is actually tapioca wood. It's wood shavings that are combined together to make roses. How cool is that? And these are actually, I'm wearing a uh, flower in my hair right now, it's white. There's a black one just like it, and a hot pink one just like it, that I got from 31. And, uh, this I got, I think on eBay somewhere. And this is actually, it's a huge, like, ro a purple rose with dangle beads. Um, this is actually a curtain tie back, and <laughs> I use it in my hair. I got it at a used store for what, 10 cents a quarter. <laughs> this I got at Ship Shawana, and I have something similar to it that's all blue rhinestones. But I need to fix it because the metal part came off the decoration. It's just really pretty. There's some jewels missing, but I still love it. And there's this. I, got, I think I picked this up at Walmart a few years ago. It's really pretty. This are really cute bobby pins from iCandyCouture.com. They're cute. Little ribbon bows on bobby pins. There's a button with a heart, not a heart, a flower in the middle with a bead. It's really cute. It's handcrafted. And I love this. This is a headband. Of course, you can see that, but it's like all pearls and pearl center of the two flowers. It's just really cute. I, I love this headband. And those are all my other headbands, regular ones. I love this one. I think I picked this up at what, Walgreens, Walmart. And it stays in so well. It's got like the teeth and it's plastic. I love it. There's like no slip. It's great. And then I've got bumpets back there and hairigamis, which I'm nuts about. I should do some tutorials on this. Hairigamis, this is what they do. You can use them to make different kinds of buns in your hair. It's really nice. I'm waiting until my hair gets a little bit longer because my hair is in layers, so some layers are shorter than others. But I'll get there. Alright, and then I've got, i got my bling jewels in here for my hair and some homemade bobby pin bows. And then I've got a hair feather extension. This is actually a jewelry pliers, but I use it to put the hair extension in. And then I've got my micro beads. I have a review and maybe even a tutorial in the future coming up for this. And these I haven't tried out yet. This is for a review. Um, I want to wear this to church sometime just to see if there's see people's reaction. That'd be funny. I know my dad would have a few things to say about it. Mom too. <laughs> this, this is the hair extension tool. That was fun though. I like the hair extension. The feather. That was fun. Might be able to get a couple more uses out of it. I'm just going to have to maybe get another one and try to take better care of it. Um, I tried flat ironing it. I don't think that was a good idea because it just made it frizzy. So I think it would have been better had I not done that. Which really there's no need. It's so straight. There's really no need for that. I don't know what compelled me to do that. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these headbands I get either used, I get, um, I, I actually, I think only one of these have been used. That's this one. But, um, we're on sale. 
these actually came with two shirts that were for sport. I got a purple shirt that came with this and a pink and a gray that came with it. But I love, I love hair accessories. I really do. Someday I'd like to make some and sell them. I love hair flowers. And this I actually got for 4th of July for a tutorial I did. I need to come up with a new one this year and wear it again. But, uh, yeah. Clean that up. Put this back. But, yeah, that's... That's my vanity. But, yeah, if I did my makeup collection with the vanity, it would take too long. What am I doing? I'm sure you don't want to stare at that, but... It would take way too long of a video to do my makeup collection with this so I'm going to once I get my products in the mail I'll do my makeup collection um, video and just link it to this one well I hope you enjoyed and that satisfied your curiosity um, you all have a good one and I'll talk to you in another video bye